Hey YouTube, it's Rob and Alex. And Chloe. And Chloe. We're about to go to the pet store, so we just thought we'd make a quick little video about what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do, Al? What are we getting? Uh, we're gonna get some mystery snails, and I'm gonna put them in my 30 gallon, and we're gonna try to breed them. So that's gonna be super fun. That'll be cool. And we'll probably get some other stuff too, but we'll make, we'll put it in the video, and we'll be back to you soon. Yep, bye. Of the time at these big chain pet stores their snails are almost always dead but there's that blue one right there and that one's alive so I think we're gonna get him and then we'll try and see if we can save like one or two other blue ones and see if we can breed them and then also these neon tetras down here are 183 so we're just gonna get a couple of those we already have neon tetras in the 60 gallon and we just want more of them so it'll look cool. And then also we're going to get some female guppies because we don't have very many of them anymore and we only have like one or two so they need help with all the males that we have. So yeah, this place is pretty cool. <laughs> And now we're back home and this is all the stuff we got so there's a hornworm that we're gonna feed Pablo maybe in this video and there's three blue mystery snails and there's some crickets and then there's kind of a lot of stuff in here we have two female guppies five neon tetras and I think we got four ghost shrimp so oh and we also got that bedding for patch my hamster so let's get this stuff the mystery snails are also acclimating and we're not going to acclimate the mystery snails for as long because they seemed like they were not doing good in the petco water so we want to get them into our nice tank uh, as soon as we can. Right now, it's been a while and we're gonna uh we're gonna put the mystery snails in and these bags are like impossible to open with the rubber band so i just had to rip it and these mystery snails are super cool we've never had like we've had mystery snails in the past and we've had a white one and a gold one but we've never had like more than one at the same time in the same tank and the water level which you could probably see is low in this tank and that's on purpose because uh, we, they laid their oh, they laid their eggs above the water. Hey Al, why don't you just dump the whole bag of water into your tank? And we don't just dump the whole bag of water in our tank because this has really gross pet smart water and it's not good. So that's not that we're saying anything disparaging about pet smart in specific. Yeah, you're supposed to always do that, even if you get it from a super nice. Yeah, it's just different water, right? Yeah. It, and who knows, could have bad things. So in it. there's two of them, and then there's the other one. 
will show you more of them once they're like comfortable and coming out of their shells. And there's our killifish, just in case you wanted to see them. They're pretty cool. Oh, right. that's my chicken nuggets. Like Alex said, it's pretty much impossible to take these rubber bands off, and I just got <laughs> smart water in my eye. Nice. So, we're gonna open that, and then put them in that breeder box, and then he'll get the net, and then get the fish, and put them into the 60 gallon, and the ghost shrimp are in that bag, so then we'll get the ghost shrimp, and put them in my 30 gallon. And this little breeder box is pretty awesome. It's a marina, I think. All right, so we're going to put these in the breeder box, but Look how pale that one is compared to the other ones. It's interesting how they get really pale when they get stressed. Look at our regular neon tetras for the difference. They're so colorful. Yeah, there's that one, and then there's these ones. The camera doesn't do it justice how pale these guys are compared to the other ones. Our neon tetras are really helpful. There's the last fish going in. Look how nice all those neon tetras look. They're already kind of getting together. The mystery smells is starting to open up a little bit. Now we're putting the ghost shrimp into the 30 gallon. Okay, I got the biggest one in here. Oh, don't jump out. Okay, so that wraps it up for today. Let's summarize what we did. Um, we went to the pet store. We bought three mystery snails, four ghost shrimp, three female guppies, five neon tetras. And some stuff for Alex's gecko. And we put it in. We're having some chicken nuggets. The ghost shrimp, I think, are pretty much eaten by the killifish. Everything else looks to be doing good. These uh, neon tetras have already super colored up. Like, they're doing great now. And I think that's about it for today.